she's teething still so she bites everything hey besties welcome or welcome back to my channel it's your girl jada simone and layla and you're watching jada's channel i don't love just anyone i am not just anyone i rock heels i rock jordans and i wear wigs and rock my natural can you believe it says i'm pretty but with dark skin so besties, as you guys can see by the title of today's video and the little special guest that we have, today's video is going to be all about my new puppy. Oh my goodness, you guys finally get to meet Layla formally. She's usually in the back of all my videos. If you follow me on TikTok, she's always in my get dressed with me videos trying to eat up my slippers. So y'all finally get to see her, you guys' internet niece who gives me a run for my money, but I love her oh so much. So Layla is a full bred Yorkshire Terrier or Yorkie. She's a hundred percent Yorkie. I got her DNA tested myself. She also was born at the end of January so she is about four and a half months old. I got her from Pennsylvania Breeders on LancasterPuppies.com and I literally drove four hours away from where I live to go pick her up. It definitely was a journey but a journey that I'm definitely glad I took and I got her for emotional support and because I live alone like I felt like I really needed something here with me if like my family or my boyfriend and my friends weren't here and I just really wanted a puppy so that I wouldn't be alone I would take my family dog Batman a lot but he's used to his space I felt bad taking him out of his space for my own benefit so that's why I got my own dog who can be comfortable in her own space and be with her mommy y'all she's so bad but I'm gonna put her down because she was napping so I paid $1,300 for Layla and I know when you hear that some people are like what the heck but people who know Yorkshire Terry they know that Yorkies are expensive like a lot of Yorkies go from two thousand all the way up to like ten thousand dollars so the little thirteen hundred I spent was literally nothing I had been saving for it so I knew what I was getting myself into and honestly like I said she was a really good price the food that she eats is Hill's science diet so I usually go through one bag of it a month so I don't have to spend a lot of money on food at all she's really really tiny so she doesn't really eat that much I typically feed her twice a day so so around lunchtime she eats and then at night when I'm about to put her in her playpen I put food in her bowl and she eats on that throughout the night and into the morning time. She also loves to snack y'all. She loves her a milk bone. I was randomly in ShopRite one day with my boyfriend and I wanted to get her some treats so I picked up milk bones and she's obsessed with milk bones. I gotta find her some more treats especially like busy bones to keep her busy but she also likes the blue buffalo training treats because I've taught her how to sit and like do different tricks like that so she loves those little treats but i will be linking the food that i give her and the treats in the description box so make sure you guys go check that out as far as grooming layla i groom her about every two to three weeks the vet told me not to groom her too frequently because it dries their skin out but if you know me i'm really big on scents and smells and she's a dog so with humans we get to bathe every day they don't so i do try to bathe her at least once every two to three weeks i use the burt's bee puppy shampoo so it's not scented and it's perfect for her and I feel like I feel like it has all natural ingredients for some reason but anyway I'll also link that in the description box and she doesn't matte so sometimes I do blow dry her but she really hates the blow dryer so sometimes I just let her air dry around the apartment and she's fine she's starting to get used to baths like before she would cry and try to jump out of the sink but now like she be chilling like she knows she has to get clean she knows that her mommy likes her smelling nice and good and I feel like at this point she might like smelling nice and good so she's all good with her bathing time I don't get her professionally groomed yet just because the vet told me to wait as long as possible to get her groomed so I feel like maybe once she hits like the six month seven month mark I might get her groomed especially because her nails are very very sharp and like they're getting out of hands and I don't think I'll be able to like tackle those myself but Layla is growing up so fast fast like I'm really a dog mom guys like I be looking at old pictures of her and I get so sad like oh my gosh look at my little baby but she's growing up so freaking quick when I first got her the first day I was so scared to hold her because she was so tiny like she literally fit in the palm of my hand she was so little like I didn't want to break her but now Layla is currently 5.7 pounds we took her to the vet on Thursday she is a big 
girl and she's also starting to change colors guys oh my goodness but like 99% of Yorkies do change colors and when I first got her she was actually tri-colored so she was brown and black but then she also has a little bit of white on her chin and on her chest and neck she still has the white there but she's starting to turn silver so now she's silver black brown and white <laughs> y'all's internet niece has such a freaking personality she's very frisky very hyper very fearless she does whatever the heck she wants like i can't tell her stop because she's going to do it anyway like this girl even be in here arguing with me like she will argue me down and i'm just like layla i'm your mother like you belong to me but one thing i am liking is she's starting to get synced with my schedule so around 11 12 o'clock at night she starts to get tired she knows it's bedtime so when i'm tired i just get myself ready for bed i put her food and her water down put her in her playpen and she does not cry bark anything i turn off the lights and she goes to bed like layla knows when it's bedtime she also wakes up every day around 8 or 9 a.m. She used to wake me up at like 5 or 6 a.m. every single day crying, but she's gotten better with that. Like, like I said, she's waking up later and she's not crying. Like she will literally stay in her playpen and wait for me to come get her. If I don't come get her until like 11 a.m. in the morning, like she'd be fine. Like she's playing with her toys. She has her water. She has her food and she just be chilling. And her nap time is typically around 12, 1, 2 o'clock. So it's currently around 2 o'clock. That's why she's napping next to me. She really don't want to be in the video Yo, the girl is tired so we do not go on walks yet only because the vet said not yet i think after this next appointment she can go for walks but i do still take her outside i just don't put her on the ground so i do have this cute little like bag that i sling across my shoulder and put her in it when i grab for the bag she knows what time it is she gets excited like she loves going outside she loves her bag but one thing she does still get car sick so i do try not to have her in the car for long periods of time when I took her to the vet Thursday, I ended up going to Chick-fil-A before I came straight home and she did throw up. She got car sick. So noted that we just got to go where we got to go and come back. And if I'm hungry and I want to make a pit stop, I'm going to have to drop her off home and then go do what I have to do later and hey y'all this girl knows how to climb up on stuff like she knows how to jump up on the couch the literally i think like the second or third day i had her when she was still like this big she climbed up on my couch i'm gonna insert the video i was just like what the heck and like she continues to climb on the couch i was trying to train her not to get on the couch but again layla does what layla wants and she tells me what she's going to do so now she loves the couch like literally there's sometimes where she's quiet and i know that she's in this window right here that i'm filming in front of just people watching or sleeping on the top of the couch like she loves the couch she also knows how to jump up on my bed which i'm just like Ugh, about i do not let her sleep in the bed with me yet i'm waiting for her to get a little older maybe like a year old and that's when i'll stop putting her in the playpen at night and i guess she can like sleep at the foot of the bed um with me but i don't know yet we have to see because again layla does what layla wants and layla also jumps up on my work desk all the freaking time and steal stuff like she'll steal pins she'll steal beauty blenders makeup brushes like Layla is very mischievous all right y'all so that is a little background on Layla so now let's talk about the good and bad side of getting a Yorkie puppy so first let's start off on a good note when I tell you guys Layla is so smart like Yorkie puppies are like known for being really really smart I had a Yorkie puppy years ago but she's so freaking smart I didn't have to potty train her like she came basically potty trained like I put down the pee pad and she knows where to go pee like this little girl is just so freaking smart she's also very sensitive to my emotions so I notice like whenever I'm upset or frustrated or angry like she'll come over and like try to like lick me and cuddle and just like try to like center me back so so she's very she's very in tune with my emotions <laughs> and she loves attention y'all like this little girl she she loves being the center of the of attention and she also loves getting your attention a lot of yorkies are cuddlers she's not she likes physical touch i feel like that's one of her love language like she will literally like sit on top of me while she's like chewing and playing on her toys however when i try to pick her up she's like no put me down but like she does like nap on me or even if she's just like sitting next to me she's always 
always touching me so i guess that's like her idea of cuddling i don't know even currently now like she's napping and her back is up against my leg she likes to feel my presence another good thing about yorkies is that they don't eat a lot so you do not have to spend a lot on food i think her food bag is like 10 to 20 dollars and it literally lasts me the entire month she also learns commands really quickly and she also learned how to fetch really quickly like i was very surprised by it i'll just be throwing the ball to her and like she'll just go back and forth and we'll be in here playing fetch she also knows how to play fetch by herself y'all like what dog do you know plays fetch by themselves like if i'm busy working or i can't play fetch with her she'll literally just throw the ball up in the air and catch it and run and just like i love the fact that she can keep herself occupied like I love it so much. I also love the fact that her fur is hypoallergenic. I am probably allergic to everything under the sun, like no lie. And I love the fact that her fur does not shed, doesn't get everywhere, like because it doesn't shed. I don't get itchy, I don't break out. When I'm around other dogs, my chest get heavy, my allergies just kick in. But with her, like she's perfect for me. She also does not bark a lot. She will only bark if I'm like leaving out the house and leaving her here. Or if I'm sleeping a little too long, she'll like, do a little wine a little bark for me to come get her but that's it for the most part she does not bark a lot and like i said before she was super easy to potty train she probably had like one or two accidents where she missed the pee pad but when i tell you my girl makes the pee pad every single time so now on to the cons or like the bad of having a yorkie so when i first got her i had to like get her adjusted to the food um i could not find the food that the breeder was giving her so i put her on the food that batman was using which was purina pro plan and y'all she had diarrhea i kept thinking that like it was maybe her tummy trying to get used to the food so i had her on the food for a good two weeks until i was like okay yeah nah so i switched to the hills health science and literally like the same day her poops got solid she was no longer experiencing the diarrhea so that's a con you definitely do have to spend money figuring out what your pet likes what your pet doesn't like but the good thing is once you figure out what they like like I said, her food bag is like 10 to $20 and I only spend that once a month. So another con is that I can no longer wear slippers in my own home because Layla chews on all of my slippers. I'm not used to this. Like I'm used to wearing my fuzzy slippers, being comfortable. Now I have to walk barefoot in my apartment and I'm not happy about it. I also can no longer have my area rug in my living room. Like I'm so scared that she might pee on my rug. That rug is so beautiful. If you guys saw my living room transformation video, it is the cow shaped cow hide print rug so freaking beautiful i love that rug so much now my living room just looks empty and bare without the rug because i'm scared that she's gonna pee but hopefully when she gets a little older i will be comfortable and i'll put my rug back out but y'all and then she's also one of the dogs who's like a victim of the zoomies like randomly every single day she gets this random burst of energy and will zoom back and forth from the front door to the living room back and forth back and forth back and forth until she gets tired and sometimes she don't get tired like y'all she's really a big ball of energy and again i do not want my neighbors downstairs to complain about me because my dog is running back and forth like she's <laughs> y'all another con is she does not do well with like soft chew toys like with the squeaker in it so i bought her let me show y'all the toy so i bought her this toy originally the first day i got her look at her she's <laughs> she like what the heck so i bought her this toy it's called a lamb chop but this is not the one i bought her this is the original one that i bought her the squeaker is no longer in it um there's absolutely no stuffing in it she literally ripped it to shreds so when i went to marshall's one day i saw that they had a two-pack and i was like oh perfect so i gave her one of the ones from the two-pack look at this there's no stuffing in it the head is detached from it y'all literally the second day that she had it look at her she she loves this thing these are her favorite toys but literally the second day that she had this toy the stuffing was already out of it and the squeaker was gone like the head happened yesterday i looked and i was like why is lammy's head off like how did you decapitate lammy so this third lammy she gonna have to wait like she gonna have to show me that she's a good girl i feel like no matter what she's gonna rip it to shreds so i'm just gonna have to keep buying more but it only was five dollars it was a pack of two for five dollars so i guess i can keep buying her more and i think the last con is that she licks me when i get out the shower like layla will literally wait for me to get out the shower wait for me to put lotion on everything and lick the lotion off of my legs and that i'm pretty sure is not safe to do so like it's a con because like i'll be like no layla no layla no layla and she will 
lick me like I'm a freaking lollipop. Like, stop licking my legs. But all these cons are not really cons. Like, they're just, like, the territory that come with having a dog. And honestly, I don't complain much. Like, I'm just so super grateful that I have her. So I have an Amazon list of, like, puppy essentials that I made before I got her so that I was prepared. So a lot of things I've already purchased off of that list. Some things I haven't purchased yet because, like I said, I don't walk her yet or, like, you know, she's still a puppy. So there's some, like, dog appropriate things but I will definitely link it in the description box if you want to shop any puppy essentials for your pup because I feel like they're definitely essential but I do suggest anyone looking to get a puppy to do your research do your research on the breed do your research on the breeder the different areas to go like when I tell you guys I was on Lancaster puppies for about three years because I knew I wanted a puppy so bad like I wanted a puppy for years so I would constantly go on Lancaster puppies every single week looking at puppies calling breeders and I knew I wanted a girl puppy so I definitely do suggest to do your research you want to make sure that the puppy that you get has like a good temperament and can match the type of lifestyle that you live you don't want to get a big old pit bull if you live in a tiny studio apartment like you know and also do your research on the type of vet plans out there Layla is currently on the Banfield vet plan I'll link that in the description box as well I pay a monthly fee her vet visits are covered vaccines are covered medicine exams all that are covered under that monthly fee and it's fairly cheap it's very 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 reasonable so super good I can take it to the vet every single day of the week if I wanted to is all covered but yeah besties that is all for today's video i hope that this was helpful for anyone that's looking into getting a puppy especially a yorkie getting a puppy is not easy but again this is my experience with my dog every dog is different some dogs are more difficult than others and some dogs are more easy going than others but i'm just happy i was blessed with my little lele she's such a perfect little baby i love her so much right lady thank you <laughs> even though she gives me a run for my freaking money y'all like y'all internet niece she's crazy but yeah lady say bye to the people like you just want to bite my hands like oh another thing she's teething still so she bites everything everything my hands my legs my couch everything she just bites every freaking thing but it's fine because she's a puppy she's gonna grow out of it but yeah besties don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next one bye